everybody. This is gonna be a depressing video. Now, I'm gonna start from the very beginning. As you can tell by the title, this is the story of my depression. Now, not a lot of you know that I am depressed because of my joyful self in my videos. Not so joyful. I... This is a hard video for me to make. But... I'm gonna make it. It all starts when I was 10. You heard it when I was young. I had a foster girlfriend. I liked her a lot. I. There was a quote she sent me like, on a text message saying, Charizard is red. Blast toys is blue. Pick up your Game Boy and be my player too. And that hit me good. But when I went to a house on the 4th of July for fireworks show, after that day we broke up, I felt nothing but a little pain. But the second girlfriend I ever had. She broke up I had so much heart in me. I cried and called my best friend. She was always there for me, to help me, to comfort me. But soon I lost the phone that I was using, which was a minute phone. I, I never talked to her again. And that led me to more depression than I could feel and then when I got my first computer which was an old Mac my brother used to have I went to Facebook I made a Facebook a long time ago even before I had that Mac it was at the library but it was in elementary school and I started the Gmail that I use on Facebook and I made some friends there. I told them about how depressed I was and they would come for me but I hardly I don't even know them anymore because they would you know, block me or leave me and some of them I grew close to. I said for my uh, best friends I ever had on Facebook, I had this best friend, and she, her friend convinced her that I, I was worried for her a lot because she was also going through the depression. And during that, Emily, this person thought that I was bugging her, so she convinced her to block me. But last month, for the month before that, she texted me saying sorry for everything. And that, that Emily was just manipulating her. I think that's what she said, but I'm not sure. And, uh, yeah, but I haven't talked to her since for some reason. She hasn't been answering my texts, but I hope she does soon. But, um,. My daughter, girlfriend, I was on this website called Discord. And before I go to the girlfriend part, I made a server. It was a good server. I had many people joining. I liked it a lot. Good community. Until some one that I trusted that was an admin in my server made everything wrong horrible 
and distort it and remake it then I made a girlfriend I loved her I still love her I guess but no, she's my ex now and uh after that, everything seemed to be happy and good until one other person. I thought of that person as family. And my friends kind of warned me about it, but I didn't listen because they told me that she was manipulating me and she was. And it ended in a result of me losing a lot of friends destroying my channel and break me down to a mental breakdown with me crying for nights. So I had an absent on Discord for about six months. When I got back, I find that my girlfriend said to me she breaks up with me. It's because of a, a reason that was not my fault, but it was something I something I was very sad about. So after that I just hardly been on Discord. I ain't hardly been sociable to anybody currently too. And uh doing school I had a lot of bullying happening to me, but I would just ignore it or check back or something. And I just, I think I'm the odd one. The one that doesn't fit in the rest of them. My, what I think and what I do in my own personal opinions and stuff and what I like, people just make fun of me for it. And just think I'm, I'm not gonna say crazy because I know that's not it, but it's more like think I'm weird. But seeing a lot of people that are my friends, I don't even know if I can use that word anymore. Friends, past people that I knew, the same interests as that, interest. Interest, interest as me, but I have lost a lot of friends over the past few years. Same as best friends, and during the school year, I met a girlfriend, and at the in the end. Why do people haunt me if I give them so much? If I give them a lot of love, a lot of care, it's just friendship, it's just ends and he can heart. Caring for people, being nice to them, it just ends up me being depressed, which is why I hardly been on any social media, but I do get on sometimes for posts and stuff to take some people for a small time but other than that I'm playing games to hide how I feel about everything and I'm hiding all the, all, all the pain that's happening to me and happening just thinking of that just, just thinking of why would they do this to me don't they know what this has just broke me down. Don't they know that if you just keep holding somebody that they would eventually do something that you would even believe they would do? But before I go on about this, I, I would not halt myself or cut myself or anything like that. I won't do drugs because I don't believe in that. 
just get that out of the way if you guys are worried about me. I just. Much, but in the end, why? Why? Why do I even try? What I do, what I care, what I love, what I do for people, friendship, loved ones. It just ends up with speaking heart and pain. I make YouTube videos because I want other people to be happy, to feel joy, to make them, like not make them, but just let them enjoy something. I just... <laughs> I've been hiding a lot in me for a long time but <laughs> I just I just don't I just don't want to keep feeling like this but as much of everything I try I keep feeling like this but please don't don't think I'm I um, don't think that I will do anything bad to myself because that's a no-go. I don't, I don't want to harm, I don't want to do anything to my body that would cause me more pain than other people do it. But I have this, one of my exes just keeps attacking me even after I have moved on from home. It's just... I was saying that after you break up with somebody, you don't lose feelings for them. But my saying is, is if they hurt you all the time, what's the use of feeling for that person? Now, I'm not saying that to be mean or anything, it's just, why try when in the end, this is gonna hurt me. I currently don't get on social media much, but for just posts and stuff, but I get on occasionally for little texts and stuff, but this is like the first time I ever said anything about it but nobody absolutely only possibly one person knows a little bit of what has happened to me but only a little bit of it but I can't see her anymore so recently nobody knows about this I'm only people on Discord, Facebook, Kick, some very few people, like almost, actually almost none at school because nobody at school I trust, nobody at school I can talk to because they, they wouldn't understand and they are not the kind of kids that I would talk to because 
they're like trying to act tough and stuff but why do people do this to people especially the ones that are nice I've been keeping a lot of pain and holding and I keep letting it out but it always comes back I always feel the same pain over and over again even to this day I still feel it I even want to change schools because I don't want to see one of my exes <laughs> I, just, I just don't want to feel pain anymore Everything I do, I just feel more pain. I make friends, I feel more pain. I make best friends, they leave me, and I get depressed more and more. To, oh, others like me, others that are emotionally depressed. <laughs> I probably won't be uploading this video currently because I don't think I would be have enough courage to upload this but if I do and when that current timeline is at its point I shall remember this video and everything I have said and and if I do upload this I want the people who actually see this and if they actually know me, the people who have fought me, just know this is what happens and that this may sound weird for some of you and I don't hate any of you. I don't dislike any of you. But I do think you guys that haunt me, you females and males, just know this is what it is that you have done to me. As for everybody else who watching this video, please, I, I just hope you guys. I hope you guys I hope you guys just support me through this and that maybe one day in the future or when this uploads and then one day in the future or that day or whatever that I will be not depressed much and I will have a pretty good life but next month will be school and I have to see my ex again. And I really don't want to. But I hope you guys like this video. Or uh, at least watched it because you guys are concerned about me. But yeah, guys. Show your support. I would really appreciate it like the video if you want to comment give me some support and uh, you know just comment any way that I, I could use for help but uh, yeah guys that's it for this video I hope you guys you know but that's it for this video like comment Self the sword, that's the guy got and become a dark sword today. And I'll see all you guys in all my videos. So this is the depression 
story of my life. So, peace out.